click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the reaction of alcohol with hydrogen halides and now in this topic let me talk about the reaction of alcohol with concentrated H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid. So what is the product that has been formed? Let us talk about that in this topic. So friends, in this topic, let me talk about the reaction of alcohol with concentrated H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is basically known as a dehydrating agent. So whenever it is reacted with alcohol, obviously it will remove the water molecule, thereby it will lead to the formation of an alkene. So this is the reaction where we are going to talk about that is how we can convert the alcohol into an alkene by the removal of water that is known as by dehydration process. So now let me give an example related to this one. Suppose if we have consider an alcohol that is R C H this is CH2 this is CH and this is nothing but OH. So therefore this is nothing but a primary alcohol that is what we have and suppose if we treat it with concentrated H2SO4 that is suppose 95% H2SO4 with a temperature of suppose 423 Kelvin. So in this case basically since H2SO4 is known as a dehydrating agent so obviously it will remove the water molecule from this alcohol thereby this H2 molecule set will be get removed in the form of H2 and that is how basically we could obtain that is R CH double bond here there should be CH2 CH2 so therefore this is nothing but an alkene that is what we have obtained from and alcohol so therefore this is nothing but the general reaction but since we also understand that is there are classifications of alcohol that is primary secondary and tertiary so in that case which alcohol will be more reactive and it will be very much easy to remove the water molecules so this is the thing that is I'm going to talk about that is the easiness to form an alkene from an alcohol is from the tertiary alcohol then it is secondary and then it is primary so therefore this is nothing but the primary alcohol that is what we have discussed that's the reason it required 95 percent of h2so4 and obviously at higher temperature but suppose if we consider the secondary alcohol then what will be the condition so this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic so now let me discuss about the first example that is what happens if we treat a primary alcohol with concentrated h2so4 so here let me consider the primary alcohol that is ch3 ch2 which which is nothing but ethanol and in that case basically suppose if I am reacting it with 95% of H2SO4 that is concentrated H2SO4 and at a higher temperature of suppose 423 Kelvin. So in this case basically obviously the water molecules it will get removed and this is nothing but the dehydration process and that is how basically we could obtain CH2 there will be formation of a double bond over here after the removal of H and OH. So here there is nothing but we have obtained an alkene that is ethene. So this is one of the reaction where we have introduced the H2SO4 that is in a concentrated form. But let me talk about the other possible reactions that is the reaction of H2SO4 with a secondary alcohol and let us see what are the possible products we could get. So now let us discuss about the reaction of secondary alcohol with the concentrated H2SO4. Suppose if we consider the first secondary alcohol that is propane dual that is CH3, CH, OH, this is CH2 and this is suppose I am writing here as H just for the easiness to represent this reaction. Suppose if we react it with again that is H2SO4 that is concentrated H2SO4 but as I have discussed earlier that is the tertiary alcohol is more feasible to undergo through a dehydration reaction compared to that of secondary and the primary. That's why the primary alcohol it required 95% of H2SO4 the concentration 
while in that case of secondary alcohol we need only 60 percent of h2so4 which is obviously concentrated one but not compared to that of the 95 percent so this is how basically we will treat it at a room temperature or else we could also heat it at 373 kelvin at a temperature of 373 kelvin and that is how basically the oh from here it will get removed and even the hydrogen here it will get removed and that is how basically we could obtain ch3 ch double bond ch2 plus h2 so here basically we can find that is the hydrogen is been removed from the beta carbon atom that's why this kind of reaction is very much important to understand because the hydrogen will be only eliminated or will be only removed from the beta carbon atom it will not be removed from the gamma carbon atom so that's the reason that this reaction was very much important for us to understand so this is one of the possibilities where we could obtain that is prop one in or propene but what is the different possibility suppose if we consider the another alcohol that is butane 2 all so for that let me give you a particular example so friends suppose if i consider butane 2 all that is ch3 ch this is oh over here ch2 and ch3 suppose if i am reacting it with again that is 60 percent h2so4 and i am providing a temperature of 373 kelvin so in this case basically as we can see over here that is there are Two possibilities or there are two beta carbon atoms so this is nothing but the alpha carbon atom the reason behind that is the OH that is the main function group is attached to a carbon atom and that carbon atom is considered to be the alpha carbon atom while this one it will be called as the beta carbon and even this CH3 it will be called as a beta carbon atom and as I have discussed earlier that is the OH will be removed from the alpha carbon atom that is for sure but the hydrogen it will be removed from the beta carbon atom but here there are two beta carbon atoms so therefore the hydrogen can be eliminated from this beta carbon atom or either this beta carbon atom so therefore there are the two possible products that is what we could obtain so what are the two possible products let me talk about the first one suppose if the hydrogen is been removed from this carbon atom or this beta carbon atom then what is the possible product we could get we get that is CH3 CH since the OH will be removed from here and hydrogen will be removed from here so therefore there will be CH double bond CH CH3 so this is one of the possible product and talking about the other possible product where we could find this OH will be removed along with that of the hydrogen that is attached to this beta carbon atom and that is the reason that we could get the possible product that is CH2 double bond CH ch2 ch3 along with that of obviously the water molecules are being removed so therefore there are the two possible products that is what we could get but which one would be the major product so this is all related to the sedzer rule and what is sedzer rule sedzer rule is nothing but where suppose if we do a dehydration process or where we do dehydrohalogenation process and the two possible products that is what we could get but the major product will be the one where we could find that is the double bond will have more number of alkyl group attached to it so here basically we can find that is there is only one alkyl group that is attached to this double bond while in this case the double bond has an attachment with this methyl group and again a methyl group so therefore this is nothing but the major product so i would write it over here as the major product while this other possibility it could be the minor one but what is the name of the product that is what we have obtained over here so the name is but2ene while in this case the name is but1ene and this is how basically we could explain the dehydration process of the alcohols the primary secondary as well as the tertiary one so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much